Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Aperture Propulsion Fundamentals and Reusability requested by Buddy Roach. Let's see here. In this test, you will assist in the testing of the propulsion gel. This orange goo has some cool mechanics which will allow you to do things you can't normally do. We will also monitor your creative thinking and tactics on reusing test elements. Hashtag BMOD. Well, I'm pretty sure people who have played the main Portal 2 campaign would already know that, but, okay. And, it, again, my personal preference, I don't like this theme. <laughs> That's interesting, I wonder which... What, Welcome, what gentlemen, this? to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? How do we get out of here? Oh, there's a little hole here. I did not even see this little hole. Alright, so I guess we just drop down because there's nothing up there for us. And this does... Oh, interesting. I wonder what that's for. Come on. There we go. Oh, I know what that's for. And, uh, I'm sorry about that Steam notification. Let me... Let me just go ahead... and sign out real quick. Offline. Thank you. We will continue without steam notification. There we go. Get that gel right there. I am super distracted right now. <laughs> Let's see. What else? We have... What's this these little... Also, there's a button here I would never, never have seen. Okay, so there's a ramp up there. What about- oh, that's a dropper. Oh, wait, that's a door! What does that? Something up there... Huh. That's strange. Okay, where do we actually want to go? Also, what's the deal with this? Is this another- another shorter runway? Or... longer one? Why are there two different runways? Strange. Alright, I have a feeling we want to go there. We'll use- we'll use this one since it's longer. Save, and continue. Oh, look at that! You actually did that just for the ant line. <laughs> Although... Whatever. Wait, how long does that last? There we go, let's start the timer over and we'll do this. We'll do it this way. Oh, uh, okay, I forgot to jump apparently. What, what did this do again? I already don't remember. Wait, that's another way to do that? Same thing? Oh, but it's shorter, okay. Interesting. Okay, so let's do this, and then we'll have to jump. Let's see here. And jump. There we go, that's how you do it. Now that we've done that, we can press this button, which... gives us a regular cube. And... we have to get it up here, so basically we just have to do the same thing all over again. Let's see, can I... oh. See, Hugo, it's a bit harder than it looks. <laughs> Put that there. I'll go over here, press this. Okay, I thought I didn't press it, but I did. We run back over here. And we do this again. There we go. Put that there, and that opens the door, right? Yes. So then, do this. And I'm not sure at all what that's for, because this is perfectly adequate right here. Alright. Oh, I was about to say... What's- what's the purpose of this little area? This is kind of pointless, by the way. Alright. Wait, we're up here now. What? Was the goal to be up here? 
Right? Because there's stuff we didn't use. Okay, what does this do? Aha! Now I see. Now I see what this was for. Clever. Interesting use. Or reuse of a puzzle element. Alright, so now we've done that. Let's see here. I wanna do... I wanna recall the cube, basically. Which means we have to do this rigmarole again. And now this little area has got a shorter launch window. But we can still sort of make it. So... Oh, I did not jump. That was my fault. Having to redo this part again over and over again is a little bit annoying. If you could find a way to make it so you didn't have to do this part so many times, that'd be great. I can't get up there now. Also, that button, why not just make it, like, something that we can turn on and off at will? Rather than having to do it within a time limit. Yeah, now I can't get up there because I don't have enough space. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, now I'm just getting impatient. Let's see. Try this again. Okay, I did not jump properly there. Man, having to do this over and over again is not fun. And I can't even get up there anymore, really? How do I get up here now? Oh, I can get up here, but I need the cube is the issue. How do I get the cube back if I can't make that jump anymore? That works. But I still need to get the cube. There we go! Finally! Jeez! That took way too long. I do not like execution-based puzzles like that. Alright, so now do this. There we go. And... more puzzle, apparently. Alright, there's no fizzler, so... I'm assuming we need everything here. What is with... What is with this? I guess it's a return path. There's something I'm not seeing. Don't tell me I need the cube. <laughs> Please don't tell me I need the cube. I need the cube. Alright, that's okay. I guess. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that's what I get for trying to speed that up while still holding forward. Bad reaction time on my part. That's my fault. Alright, let's try this again. And this time we'll have the cube with us. Let's go at one time speed, please. There- oh. Well then. Let's try that again. One more time. Come on. Come on. How did I do it the first time without issues? Let's try this again. Come on. Come on. Let me over here. And charge! There we go. Okay, so apparently not jumping works better. Interesting. And then there's this. Okay. What else? Because this is still- this is still part of the puzzle, apparently. Oh, is this just the stuff you didn't hammer? Okay. Congrats! 
Well, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!